Hello, my wonderful viewers. Welcome to my platform. This is Linda's TV show. If it is your first time of coming across this channel and you like what you see after watching, please subscribe, put on your notification bell, set it to all notification. In that way, you'll be able to get notified each time I upload a new video, even those without notification. Here we react to all forms of videos, international and local. Every Saturday by 2 p.m. we have our interaction section. You are free to call in to air your opinion about the happenings in our society. Invite your friends, share my videos with your families and colleagues. Do not keep this information to yourself. Myself, I will be sitting down here to watch this video together with you from the beginning to the end. Then we'll go to the comment section and leave our comment, our opinion about the video we we'll watch constructively as we watch this video, my people. I can't give credit to Biafra. They can't. And this is what Mazinam the can have been shouting every now and then. He shouted on Radio Biafra. They can't give credit. They can't give credit. They copy and copy and copy. And they are lazy, very, very lazy people. They will be sleeping when we are cracking brain to see how we can use our brain to do something productive. They are sleeping, thinking how to loot money. After we crack our brain, cracking our brain, our brain become productive. They will come to our media to, to steal our ideas. Now, I want you to listen to this as well. Stop making movies on ritual killings for money. Nigeria government won Nollywood. Nollywood producers. Exactly what we did here two days ago. These people sat in their air-conditioned stupid room and they were listening and watching us and they were taking note of it. But when we tell them how to solve Nigeria's security problem, they don't copy that. They will listen to it and how, plan how to work against it. We will tell them the reason why you must give Biafra for peace to reign. They don't listen to that. <laughs> no, they don't. When we are telling them now that you can't stop the seat at home, they will do everything to fight against it. They will pay the DUS. They will manipulate them through the political solution. They will manipulate them through the governors. They don't give up on that. When we are now telling them that we are going to impose the economic sanction and then force it in Biafra land, they begin to call meeting in Abuja. They invited all the governors of the oil producing state because we say we are going to interrupt the oil production. With not only interruption, we will find a way to make sure we ground it to zero. Yes, I will encourage anybody, if you know what to do, to make sure that you ground the oil production in Nigeria, ground it. Let me tell you one thing. I want to show you something. I want to show you something. One moment. Why we must ground oil production in Nigeria. You see that oil exploration in our land, in Biafra, not in Nigeria, in Biafra land. We must make sure that no oil, in fact, in, in, you know, in time to come, we must make sure that no platform, no platform, no oil platform, no platform, will be allowed to explore oil from our land. Do you know what these people are doing? Do you know what they are discussing in Germany? Germany is discussing about Ukraine. Discussing about Ukraine. The Ukraine and Russia. And do you know what Germany say? Germany say they don't care about what, you know, whatever Russia do, it is not a problem. After all, they will be getting, they are getting oil supply from many countries, including Nigeria. Including Nigeria. So it is because there is another option for Germany to get oil. That is why they are going to go into this crisis with Russia. And I want you to listen to that, uh, to that news here. Deutsch. Verhandlungen sei es gelungen, dass die EU den ganzen Winter über versorgt sei, auch ohne Russland. Die wichtigsten Lieferanten für Flüssiggas sind die USA, Katar, Ägypten, Aserbaidschan und Nigeria. He said that, you know, it does not matter that uh, after all, they are getting oil from Qatar, from Egypt or whatever, and then he mentioned the other country and then Nigeria. So what they are telling you now is that Germany is discussing Ukraine 
And they are now saying it does not matter what they do, the economic sanction they give to Russia, how they are going to fight Russia. Mm -hmm. After all, they don't need Russia oil because they are getting oil from Nigeria. That is what they are discussing. These people never discuss the killing, the insensitiveness of this Nigeria government. They never discuss how people are being murdered by terrorists in Nigeria every blessed day. They never discuss how the Biafra people live, those places where the oil is coming from. Here you are seeing and watching people discussing European country, discussing Ukraine and Azerbaijan or whatever, discussing Ukraine. And as they are discussing Ukraine, they are using Nigeria, uh, you know, to the Nigeria oil, oil that is coming from Biafra land to discuss their own region to discuss their own continent, to discuss the reason why they, can, they are going to do everything against Russia. Because even Russia don't want to give them oil, they are getting oil from Nigeria. I want you to listen to that. This is what is going on. So we must let them understand that they should minus Nigeria in this oil they are trying to get. They have to minus Nigeria. Until you make them to understand that we minus Nigeria and minus Russia, you can never get your freedom. These people will only rise up when you attack your own natural resources. Your, the oil is our own natural resources. When we stop the oil production, when we call the, when we make sure we call the attention by stopping the oil production in our land, you can't be extorting oil from our land, killing us using the money to buy arms and ammunition to kill us, using the money to buy tanks and bring the tanks with the helicopter to bombard our place, and you say we are going to keep quiet so you kill everybody? No. So the reason why, you, if you are listening to me today on radio, on Biafra, on Voice of Biafra, on 97.5 FM, and you are in Biafra land, the problem you are having is that you have not started attacking the oil installation. You have not started making sure that nobody you know, take oil from our land again. Because this is getting too much. Any day we begin to interrupt the oil installation until they listen to our cry, until they listen to reason why we must now get our freedom, you can never get freedom. These people can never talk. Because for us to get this Biafra, they must talk. Whether you like it or not. We have to force them to get involved. How do we force them to get involved? So that we are going to force them to get involved. This particular business they have in our land must be interrupted. And this is Verhandlungen sei es gelungen, dass die EU den ganzen Winter über versorgt sei, auch ohne Russland. Die wichtigsten Lieferanten für Flüssiggas sind die USA, Katar, Ägypten, Aserbaidschan und Nigeria. Wie hoch aber der Preis? Do you hear that? Aserbaidschan. Or, or, or Nigeria. So they are telling you that it does not matter what they do with Russia. They are telling you that it does, not matter what, it does not matter what Russia do. That is why I first of all informed them, like I told you, that the government have assigned a lot of people to watch our program. That is why I informed them already, that we are aware, we have the knowledge. Like I've just informed you that ECOWAS have their own people now watching this program. And they are now scheduling the activities from the ECOWAS office according to the directive we are given. I am telling I'm being I'm being sincere. Every activities of ECOWAS from now to the next six months have been planned to go in line with Biafra sit at home. I am telling you something before God a man. This is, this, you know, our intel is, when it comes, it comes like, it comes like cinema. Okay? Our intel have revealed that the office of ECOWAS in Abuja have people assigned mm -hmm. to listen to our program. And those people are giving feedback to them. And whatever we say about the civil disobedience, they are planning their mm -hmm. schedule and their event to go to suit our seat at home. So if you don't know where the seat at home has gone, my brother, my sister, my Biafra people, your seat at home is being heard 
in the office of ECOWAS. Your seat at home, Monday seat at home, is being heard and discussed at the office of ECOWAS in Abuja and, of course, in the other part of Africa. Your seat at home is shaking Nigeria. That your seat at home that people are fighting and they are doing everything to stop is actually what is now working very well. And by the time the economic sanction kick off, you see this woman that I played the video now telling you how Nigeria is supplying oil and they don't care about Russia. They are going to minus Nigeria. Once we begin to interrupt the oil production, they are beginning to count Nigeria. That, okay, now we have issue in Nigeria, they are fighting for their freedom, so we minus Nigeria. They will begin to discuss it. They will begin to lose money. They will begin to lose the money they are making from our land. They, are, they don't care about us. We are being killed every day. Nobody talk. But look at Ukraine. Look at Ukraine. Ukraine is a country on its own. We know. But when somebody is killed in Ukraine, everybody talks about it. When one single person is killed, when a bomb is dropped somewhere in Kremlin, everybody talks about it. But in our mm -hmm. own land, your own governor, somebody that comes from the same region with you, like people like somebody like Hopus or Dema, will bring military and bring helicopter to bombard our own people. In quest to please the Fulanese. And to remain in power. And nobody is talking. Our women are being killed. Our children are being killed. There is no school. There is no hospital. There is no road. There is no, you know, there is nothing to show that, you know, you have government. But every day, every month, your senators are being paid in millions. Every month, your House of Representative members are being paid in millions. Every month, governors are receiving millions. Every month, House of Assembly members are receiving millions. Every month, local government chairman are receiving millions. No food, no medical, no medication, no mm -hmm. nothing, no maternity, no social amenity, no school. No, 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 nothing. There is nothing to show, but the money is there. But let me tell you, when we talk, they say, hold your politicians accountable. We cannot hold the politician accountable when they are now being protected by the same corrupt system of Nigeria. The only way we can hold our politician responsible is when we have our own country different from what you do in Nigeria. And if nothing happened, hey, you can say, hold your, then if we don't hold them responsible, you know that we have failed. But how can you hold somebody responsible in Nigeria? Where uh, uh, um, uh, Abba Kaere is suing the federal government for violation of his human right. The same Abba Kaere arrested mm -hmm. a, a vice, claiming that a vice is a kidnapper. Nobody actually know whether Evans is a kidnapper or not. We have not come to hear any witness since Abba Kaere paraded Evans. We have not come to hear somebody coming to witness that, yes, I am witnessing against Evans. No witness anywhere. We are, at least I have not heard about that. If anybody have witnessed, I have not. There has never been any witness against Evans. <laughs> But they are parading him. They want to sentence him. They have already sentenced him to death because he's an Igbo man. I'm not supporting crime. I'm not supporting a criminal. But this is a fact. Why there is a criminal, a, a kidnapper called Wadume? Wadume own is very clear. Wadume is that the, is, a, is a distance from the north and you don't hear about Wadume today. <laughs> Nobody hear about Wadume today. You don't hear about him. But this advance has been paraded everywhere. Today, our leader is in DSS dungeon. They went all the way to Kenya to kidnap our leader. Now, they cannot even, even bring our leader to court and try our leader if they think that he committed any crime. But Abba Kaere have committed international crime. And today, I'm making it very clear 
that he did not only involve in drug trafficking, Abakaire is a member of the cartel of South, South America. Is a member of one of the drug cartel. So they should know that FBI should get involved in Abakaire. He is the channel that they use to push narcotics and drugs to America and to Europe. So it is not a case of NDLA. Abakaire drug case is FBI case. It is FBI case because he is the representative of the cartel, the drug cartel in Nigeria. So it is not issue of uh, NDLA. And I want people, I want the the international com international community, especially the FBI, who are already looking for him to answer the internet fraud, to look into that because. He is the contact person in Africa. He is a member of the drug cartel in South America. It is through him the team comes to Monitora Mohammed Airport to Abuja Nandazikiwe. He was he is the one who control everybody who who tell you who the drug will pass, who to pass, and who not to pass. With the contact he has from the Escabo, uh, Escoba or, or whatever they call him, the people of the Escoba, and he come to Nigeria through Brazil. And all that, and then he, so so they must you know they must go beyond the NDLE. It is a it is an international uh, is an international drug cartel uh, uh, this thing. So he must he must be investigated and taken to America for that. All right. So having said this, I want you people to understand the need and the reason why you must go after the production the oil to stop it because. That is the only way to call the attention of the international community that we are not interested any longer in one Nigeria. And of course, at the same time, we're demanding the freedom and the release of every political prisoner, including Mazen Namdikan. Including Mazen Namdikan. So this video I've just played here is what is happening right now in Europe. Right now in Europe. I want to play the video again. So I will tell you exactly what they were talking about. One moment. One moment. Verhandlung sei es gelungen, dass die EU den ganzen Winter über versorgt sei, auch ohne Russland. Die wichtigsten Lieferanten für Flüssiggas sind die USA, Katar, Ägypten, Aserbaidschan und Nigeria. Verhandlungen sei es gelungen, dass die EU den ganzen Winter über versorgt sei, auch ohne Russland. Die wichtigsten Lieferanten für Flüssiggas sind die USA, Katar, Ägypten, Aserbaidschan und Nigeria. Wie hoch aber der Preis? You see, it does not matter what Russia do. It does not much matter what Russia do if Russia stop them from getting gas, that they are getting gas from these countries. Do you see that? And they mention Nigeria. And they are getting gas from Nigeria. They don't know the gas they are getting from Nigeria, what are, in what condition the people that they are getting the gas from, how the condition they live. They are not interested in that. So we need to stop them from getting the gas from Nigeria. We need to let them minus Nigeria, just like they are minus in Russia. Let them minus Nigeria. Yeah, so that uh, they will ask questions. Why do we minus Nigeria? Why is Nigeria not? And they will begin to ask questions. Since they believe, or since they pretend not to know that people are being killed every day in our land to compel us to stay in one Nigeria. Since they pretend not to know that the Nigerian government are sponsoring terrorism and we don't want to be part of it. Since they pretend not to know that every sector of Nigeria government is dominated by the terrorists. So since they pretend not to know all those things, we will make them to know by making sure that that particular oil that are now focusing and targeting that if Russia did not give them gas, they are going to get it from Nigeria, is interrupted to the maximum. So if you want to get your independent, 
If you want to see Mazin Namdi Kanu release, if you want to see Biafra being discussed in international community, channel your anger to oil and gas. Channel your anger. Biafrans, channel your anger to oil and gas. Channel your anger to natural gas and everywhere you see pipeline in your land, channel your energy there. Because they don't value your, your life. They value your oil. This is a fact. We have been able to research and research and research. The only thing they value is your oil, your natural resources. They don't value your life. If you like, die in million. Nobody care. If you like, let the Nigerian government bring a, a bombardment to your land and kill everybody. You can't see it in CNN. You can't hear it in France 24. You can't hear it in Hero Hero News. You can't see it in DWTV. You can't see it in BBC. Of course, BBC, but we always gossip with that. But when the oil production in Nigeria is ground to zero because of Biafra agitator, let me let me tell you, it is not a militant. Too. No, it has not. Let it not be militant. Let it be Biafra. Let it carry the name. Biafra agitators. Did you hear me? Let it not be Niger Delta militant. Let it not be Egbesu. Let it not be any name. Let it not be any avenger. Let it be Biafra Lib Thank you so much, my wonderful viewers, for watching this video together with me from the beginning to the end. Like I said before, if you like what you see here, if you like what I do in this platform, as you have finished watching this video, please hit that red button that says subscribe and put on your notification bell to all notifications. In that way, you'll be able to know when I upload a new video. Share my videos, leave your comments in the comment section constructively. Until I meet your way again in my next video, I still remain your Linda's TV show. Bye-bye.